Hi, my name is Meg Sino. I'm here from New Jersey and I'm looking forward to what I think is a once in a lifetime opportunity to work with Christopher. I see what he can do for women. It's amazing. And I'm just hoping to get my confidence back, frankly, when it comes to appearance. Um, I tend to be very casual, very informal, for work kind of classic, but I think there's an inner sexy alluring person in there and I'm hoping he can help me find her. I would describe myself as casual classic, but at the age that I'm at now, the image I want to portray, I want sexy. I know she's in there. I only have so many years left. <laughs> so I want to play up some of the assets that I have while I have them. With this makeover, I'm looking for that glimmer of sexy that yeah. I know is in there. God bless my mom, she was very classic, very conservative. It was, you know, you don't need any makeup and if you wear makeup, you're that slutty. And now that I'm at the age I'm at, I'm realizing, no, you kind of got to kick it in a little bit, even to look natural. But on top of that, there's nothing wrong with, you know, enhancing um, characteristics that you have and feeling really sexy and feeling pretty. And that's what I want for myself, for my husband. I always just want to feel good. When I went to Italy, it was crazy because like, oh my goodness, this is, everybody looks like I do. I felt that the women were beautiful and there wasn't, you know, try to be as skinny as you can be and have this straight hair, which I've never had. When you're here in the States, that look is not as, I don't know, celebrated as the straight blonde hair and very skinny and I've never been that at all. All the Disney movies, the, the brunette is the villain. <laughs> That's not great. It's just very important to feel really good about yourself and the image that you're portraying, like it or not, is going to dictate how good you feel about yourself. process here with Meg. The first process was to cover her gray with a neutral brown. On the ends we added some lightener. It did not lift the way we wanted it to so we're going to add a lightener again. I don't think of sexy as slutty at all. Yeah, but like my whole life, that's what I see. You're thinking sexy is like... You, you feel insecure because you say to yourself, if I can't pull it off or others don't see what I think they should be seeing, then I look pretty desperate. I already look back on the last few years and say, gosh, you know what, you know, I couldn't even tell you what I felt about myself from 48 to 51. It just kind of was a blur. My 40s, I lost my mom, I lost my brother. It sucks. And you kind of let things go because you say, what difference does it make? What difference does it make if I exercise? I could be dead tomorrow. What difference does it make? And now I choose to look at it a little differently. 
what what do you have to lose by going for what you want right why not you know give it a try or go for what you want to be and don't be intimidated by what you think people think you should be doing hello christopher you poor soul oh. you must be so sick of looking at my face oh no 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 one knows the process really it's, yeah you know i've, I've yeah. got the video of like when you try to do the more the dramatic eyes and they didn't work like a process to create that yeah. too but it was a fantastic trip truly so aside from my husband's wonderful reaction when i when i got to the airport and he did say to me like you and i were joking when i was leaving that people were kind of looking at me everyone staring at you wondering who you are like trying to figure out that they should know who you are because you must be some sort of celebrity and i realized that i'm, I'm so very not used to that kind of attention you know, i'm not used to that at all um but the one thing that i did do was my my son had a uh, scholarship night um shortly after i got back and you know i put in the energy put in the effort and the time and not only did i feel so so much better about myself but the people showed up in sweats and jeans and i was in a skirt and you know heels sandals and i just felt really really so you know proud i felt really good about myself and i could tell people were kind of double taking you know yeah and um, and my husband met me there um he was coming from work and he said i picked you out right away and i was so proud to come sit next to you it's a, it sounds like a little thing but it's not it's just huge how's it looking Kayla? very good who's the first person you're gonna see at the airport or my husband yeah he doesn't yes. know what to expect at all he does not know what to expect at all the thing people wouldn't realize that you've got such fine hair. It's curly, so they don't, they make an illusion that it's, it's pretty fun. Looks really pretty. I love the wild. I like the wild hair. Definitely. It feels wild to me. Very sexy. Yeah, I like this brighter blush. My big thing was time. I just assumed it would just take way too much time and it would never, you know, and it doesn't. When you, you know, when you establish the routine, it does not. It's gorgeous. I cannot thank you guys enough. Good. It's yeah. It really is. Yeah, <laughs> well, are. and not only that. See, I love can... that people say, yeah, you are. No, I, well, you, you know, you don't feel that way. I really wanted my husband to see that I could be sexy because it's not a side of me that I would show often. But more importantly, it's really for you. You know what I mean? For yourself. And that's, that's what I really realized too. I just want my arms to be flapping about. Everybody just think of lifting it in your armpits. You know, there. They look really skinny that way. I just, I vogue it. I just yeah. come out and yeah. vogue it. <laughs> I'm really bad at this, so nobody no. judge me. <laughs> no, no, no. I am now much more mindful of even if it's just grabbing your keys to run out to the store. Like I am very mindful where I just take a look at myself and say, "Is this what you want people to see when you see you?" Who you know, which I never would do it before and didn't think it would bother me, but I think subconsciously it was. Like I knew I was not you know, treating myself with a lot of self-respect that way. And it's a vicious cycle. You're happier, you're more confident, and so then you'll wear things that, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just a vicious cycle. You talk to people you wouldn't normally talk to, so for me it's been, you know, just wonderful.